So I wanted to post this for some time, but I never got the time to post it. So I'm going to post it and watch the video and watch how crazy it is because, like, there's something happening and what's going to happen. There was ever a sign that God was telling us to repent, it's this. I hope you're paying attention. Have you guys heard about this eclipse that's happening on April 8th? It's a total solar eclipse that's going across the entire United States of America. It just so happens to be passing through eight cities named Nineveh. Nineveh in the Bible is a city that God told Jonah to go tell to repent. And they did. They listened to the word of God through Jonah. They repented and they were spared. It is no coincidence that this eclipse is going through eight cities named Nineveh. The number eight spiritually means new beginnings. Which is really interesting because this eclipse that's taking place on April 8th is the second total solar eclipse that will be going across the entire continental United States in the last seven years. When you put these two together, it makes what looks like an X. But in the ancient Hebrew alphabet, it's actually a Tav. And it means the end. And when you come to an end, you come to a beginning. To further solidify this sign, this eclipse comes at the very end of the year on God's calendar. And the first day of the first month of the new year will happen on April 10th. So we have this total solar eclipse on April 8th that passes through eight cities named Nineveh. It creates a Tav when you add it to the other total solar eclipse that happened in 2017. God is speaking to us. This is not a coincidence. God uses the sun, the moon, and the stars for signs. Read Genesis 1.14. When the disciples asked Jesus for signs, he talked about the sun, moon, and stars, things happening in the sun, moon, and the stars. That is the reason why God put them up there, to keep time and to give us signs. This sign is not a coincidence. It is a call to repentance. If you have been seeing signs, if, if you see an repetitive numbers all the time if you're seeing 11 11 it's a sign to it's a call to repentance jesus is calling us to repent like god used jonah to call nineveh to repent this eclipse that goes through eight cities named nineveh creates a tab it creates a cross when the pharisees asked jesus for a sign what did he say he said you will get no sign but the sign of jonah Whereas Jonah was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, Jesus said he will be three days and three nights in the earth. We have a giant cross, a giant tav, drawn on the United States by God himself. God is telling us to repent and let me tell you something, you better do it now. Stop playing around with your faith. Stop being a casual Christian. Stop thinking that you can do whatever you want because Jesus died on the cross. That is not what he died for. He did not die on the cross so that you could say, I believe in you, Jesus, and then go, go and do whatever the hell you want to do. It does not work like that. And this sign of the eclipses, the Tob, the cross, and Nineveh is a sign that God is calling you to repent. So here's what you need to do. Get on your knees and go talk to God. In order to repent, you got to go tell on yourself. Go confess your sins to God. God, I'm sorry. I've been doing this and this and this and this. And name out every sin that you can think of. And don't sugarcoat it. Don't be embarrassed. Whatever it is, call it what it is. And say, God, I've been doing this, 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 and this, and this, and this. I'm, it's wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to be like this anymore. Please forgive me. Please help me overcome these sins. I, I repent. I repent of all these things. I don't want to do it anymore. Help me. God will answer that prayer. He will help you turn away from your sins. He will help you stop doing these things that you are not supposed to be doing. Because let me tell you something. Lukewarm Christians, read the book of Revelation. Lukewarm Christians, Jesus throws them up out of his mouth. They become vomit to him. If you're a lukewarm Christian, time's up. You cannot afford to be a lukewarm Christian anymore. You have to repent. Get on your knees. Confess your sins to God. Tell Him you're sorry. Ask Him to forgive you. Ask Him to help you overcome your sins and mean it. Because time's running out.